Um, so good afternoon. Thank you for thank you for uh, to Alexander for inviting me to giving this talk about uh, improving citizenship by engagement through social network. Uh, I'm a professor, associate professor from the Universidad Católica del Norte in Chile, and I have some some ideas to share with you today about how government in general can work uh, with citizens to improve their engagement. Uh, so, um, I first uh, want to say, why do you think government should use social media in general? Huh? Uh, today, we, we can't even imagine that uh, government will not use social media, because uh, uh, government are trying to engage citizens in, in their issues uh, using all kinds of med mediums to get their attention. So social media is one of the major uh, players today in, in, in achieving this, uh, this uh, participation and basically this engagement. Why, why the government will use it? Uh, they are today sharing uh, community, community news, measuring the citizen reaction and the feedback and they want to let people know what they are doing, but at the same time, getting back uh, the feedback they are needing for improving their, their, their community and, and working with their citizens. So, uh, they also uh, use social media because uh, they can cover issues uh, at the moment that they are happening. So, they can comment them live or they can even share those uh, events uh, when they are working with those citizens. Yeah. So one question I want to, to raise here is uh, what is citizen engagement versus citizens' participation? So when we talk about engagement, uh, some people think engagement is the same than citizen participation, but in reality they are really different. Yeah? Uh, at the first, uh, we can say uh, government, e government at, uh, e in the initial times, uh, was uh, focusing their attention in getting citizens to participate in all their activities. But um, today we are talking a little bit more about uh, participation and trying to include a two-way communication, and we are calling those citizen engagement. Citizen engagement basically requires uh, that government act intentionally in, in creating a dialogue and, and at the same time, improving uh, public decision making. So, uh, in this sense, uh, the role of government is to initiate this engagement. So, they are actively pursuing a way to integrate a citizen into the activities in a way that citizen can really be part of all the uh, decisions that the government are taking for improving the community. Another important issue in citizen engagement is uh, the formality. Engagement is a more formal way of communicating with citizens in a way that is a two-way street. Not only governments are communicating issues, but also citizens are being part of those activities. So, we can say the citizen engagement goal is to improve public service deliveries and public policies program. We see in this picture there uh, a group of people actively, actively working with the citizens toward the future of a community. It could be the central government or it could be a local government. So, uh, uh, all kinds of activities. It's, it's a major role of engagement, but if we see citizen participation is basically uh, we can talk about participation that is a uh, citizen mainly involved, where where they can initiate this participation, but basically it's not that formal, it's more informal. They are just being part of an activity, they are not working to a goal. You know? So, even though the goal of citizen participation is also improving public services deliveries and public policies program, the engagement of citizens requires a more active role of the government toward the development of a community. So, uh, this is the first difference among citizen engagement and citizen participation. And we can say then, uh, 
why government uh, need to engage citizens mm -hmm. in the conversation? So uh, we could say that when citizen uh, uh, participation program are really well implemented, more citizens then are, are going to be part of the decision-making process, which means really that uh, government uh, can, at the end, be more responsive to the community needs. They can uh, create programs that are really focused in, in the needs of the citizens and understanding what are the problems they, uh, they are getting day by day and how they, through their, their, through their own experiences of the citizen, improve improve the community community life and they, at the end the quality of life of those citizens also we can say that engagement can increase accountability and transparency because when communities are talking back to the government government can uh, get to know what the problems are in the community what the citizens are living what are the major concerns of the citizens and they can also be the, the guards of, of, of uh, the truth, the guards of the reality, and see how they can reduce uh, corruption. You know? So this is an important issue. Engagement also uh, improves citizens' quality of life. At the end, uh, what the government wants, the final outcome should be improving citizens' life. And to know how to improve citizen life, they need to know what are the major concerns of those citizens and what they want to incorporate into their governments, how they can give the advice to the government in order to really know, uh, so the, the government really know what the citizen want. Uh, they can think the citizen want something, but at the end the citizens are really expecting something different. So engagement, in, it can help a government to really give the citizens what they are expecting from them. And uh, citizen engagement uh, today is, uh, is very important through social network. Government at all levels, central and local level, are using a variety of social network in different ways to, to, to raise this uh, engagement from citizens. It is not easy for governments to, to do that because as we can see, they they have uh, all kind of means, but uh, they sometimes don't know where they go. So here uh, I'm showing you a slide about uh, uh, the more advanced countries today, probably in the use of of, of social media to engage citizens. Uh, in in Asia, a hundred percent of government are using social media to engage citizens which is a, a, a high percentage compared with Latin America in general. We are really low compared with them, but, but um, they are trying to understand what uh, the citizens uh, are really looking for and trying to give uh, as much feedback to the citizens are an engagement in those con citizens' concerns. So you can see here that uh, when they ask to the citizen that 42% of citizens are are available to, to be part of, of, of uh, government uh, projects or answer to government question. Uh, 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 at least I have a conversation to the government. So at least a, a, per, a high percentage of them, they can give the feedback that the government needs. Uh, they are investing, you know, high percentage of their, of their resources in, in achieving this, uh, this, uh, this engagement. Uh, as you can see here, social media users versus country population in this graph, we can see that Facebook is very high compared with the whole population of China. So the whole amount of people that can be reached through those social media is uh, very high. So government need to address this issue in a way that this can help them to, to achieve their goals. I included here uh, a, a latest news about the, the Mexico earthquake. Why I, I choose this news? Because it said that Mexico was, uh, was a, 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 suffered an earthquake. Uh, it, was, um, it was very, very bad at the first earthquake. And they said that the first images of the disaster were, were shared through Twitter. So Twitter was at the major 
uh, social media that uh, help Mexicans, you know, government to see what was going on in the country, uh, in in the city of Mexico. So uh, they were this 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 newspaper were really showing that um, uh, all all media was there, but citizens were looking to the social social media for one of those uh, major disasters. So here are also we can see that um, citizens uh, are working with government using social media to this earthquake. Here I said that there is a solidarity wave on Twitter after the Mexico earthquake because they were they were gathering together as a group in order to support all those problems with other citizens. So we can see a Twitter account there where they see um, what is going on. They other citizens are telling the government where the problems were, where the where, where the, the citizens were suffering, and what the, what they were expecting from the government. So uh, citizens are receiving back from citizens. Uh, governments are receiving back from the citizens those uh, information, and um, also government is using Twitter for engagement too. In this case, in this Mexico earthquake, we can see how the government of Mexico is sharing information about all this, uh, this uh, report that the schools need to fulfill in order to, to be able to uh, get back to, to, to classes. And how they could also um, let them know about the structural damages in this construction here. In, the, in this construction, uh, they, they were showing the citizen and asking the citizens so where these problems were, so they could really in, engage the citizens in this conversation. So if you see this, this is a very interesting issue. Not only here you can see, I just took this, this case that is Mexico's earthquake because it just happened. You know? But uh, I, I, I could see this also in Chile uh, when we have our earthquake. The only way that people has to communicate with Twitter because of most of the uh, telephone companies were out. So uh, engagement today is happening uh, in reality in those events and activities uh, through those social networks. So here are uh, even a, a, a message from the government that said we should use efficiently social network for everybody so everybody can have access over for, for information in time. So they were very concerned about the, the importance of social network for this event. Uh, so uh, what kind of benefit we can get out of this, uh, uh, of this uh, engagement? What kind of benefit are associated with the uh, participation and engagement programs? Uh, so we can say that uh, when citizen uh, participation program are really well implemented, more citizens will be brought into the decision making process, and, and this will also uh, allow the government to be responsive to the community needs. When citizens feel that they are part of the decisions for the government and their their feedback is important, they will be engaged and they will incorporate all this this um, social network of, uh, of the government and trying to improve uh, community life. Additionally also, we can say that um, uh, citizen engagement uh, initiative uh, will have the ability to build community, uh, allow the, the growth of leaders, and after all, they will include they will have a more collaborative uh, style of government, what is really what governments, governments are today looking uh, in the use of, of, of social network for engagement purposes. But not everything is a benefit. There is also a lot of risk which are associated with, uh, with, um, with the use of engage, the social network for engagement. Um, we can see today uh, that social networks are used uh, in a very good and in a very bad way. So. Uh, we, we know that uh, when the government uh, interact with the with the citizen, will open, you know, uh, a space for the citizens to really give a feedback. Um, but at the same time, what it will what 
probably will happen, it will raise the expectation of those citizens to receive a real-time feedback from the government. And uh, the problem sometimes is the government is not so fast. Uh, the, pro the government sometimes react in a very slow way because public sector organizations are slow. So they don't keep back. We did a, a study here in Chile about communities and we analyzed the level of, of electronic participation offered by government, by local governments. And, and we saw that most communities where citizens uh, assessed in a positive way the electronic participation offered by government were those where social networks were answered very quickly where the answer for, from the social media, anytime, Twitter, Facebook, were fast. And they really give a bad grade to those communities, they, those cities, where the government were slow in answering uh, through social media. So here is, is a two-way story. So we can say, for on one side, the government opened the expectations of the citizens, but at the same time, they, they should be able to to answer those questions in time. Uh, so this is really a two-way communication, not one-way communication and the government never answered, which sometimes we can see many in many places. This is one major risk. The second important risk is the communication jam, the paralysis that happened. Sometimes this communication jam happened because everybody is trying to communicate at the same time. What happened then is this, this uh, stopped communication and uh, the government on one side uh, citizens stop talking back to the government. So this is a risk because when they don't mm -hmm. answer one time, next time they will not communicate anymore. So that's uh, this is the second important risk. Another risk is the lack of consensus. Uh, it is difficult to reach a consensus among a group of people. It's even more difficult to reach consensus among this, all these communities and the government. So, sure, it's going to be difficult in communication. So, the government needs to address those uh, con this lack of consensus in a very organized way, with planning and strategies, not giving everything freely, so they should have a plan in order to engage those citizens in an organized way. Another, another important issue in those uh, risks are the power abuse. Uh, there's always going to be a power abuse. Uh, some people are going to take uh, the power of the network and use it against somebody. So that's a, that's a, that's a, a risk that is important to see in the, in the use of such a network. And another risk, and I think one of this we have seen a lot, is the manipulation of facts, or what we can say the politicization of issues. Why this happened? This happened basically because uh, poli poli politics is, um, is uh, using the communication in a way that they supposed to help one side or the other. So, in this case, for example, I, I got uh, this, this, this news uh, about uh, what happening with Uber in, in London. So, in this case, a company like Uber and all citizens that want to use Uber are pushing the government back so they can, you know, they are doing a petition so they don't restrict the license of Uber in London. So, they say that they have more than 600,000 people who already are advocating to keep Uber in London. So this is an extreme high force from the people, from the citizens, toward the government to change the decision they already have done. And, 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 and people is using the, those uh, media uh, in order to, to push the government or, as we say, manipulate uh, political issues that are uh, from one side or the other. So another important, and, and this is a very new today, uh, is uh, the, the citizens in Mexico are trying to push the government too for allowing the, the funding for political parties to go to help 
those victims of the earthquake. So they, are, they were signing a petition in this change that org Mexico, they create uh, one um, petition that already have, have, I don't know if you can see the number there, 1.4 million people that signed this petition to the government, 1.4 million of people signing one petition, so political parties are under the pressure of the people. Uh, the government is also under the pressure of the people to change the way that the budget work for political parties. So this is a very interesting um, uh, uh, situation that is happening right now. This is uh, this post is from from today in the morning, and I was looking at the the, the numbers about the petition, and I was a uh, the 1.4 people already signed this petition. How long it took for them for them to to, to, to arrive to 1.4 million days, days only. So this is a, a political issues, a manipulation of facts um, are, are very important in the engagement. So governments cannot let uh, engagement free. They need to have some ways to, 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 to plan the way that they will communicate with citizens in a way that both benefit from them citizens and the government so or else the, the whole process will be you know destroyed so what uh, what uh, what governments can do to reduce those risks um, they do they can do many things one thing they can do is uh, provide a platform a, a easy platform uh, for the citizen to do this engagement so this platform said might be easy so see Uh, submit forms, uh, find, find the information they need. So this is one way to, to, to improve this engagement. Another way is to empower the citizenry with uh, giving them some authority and power in the decision-making processes. So they can work closely with uh, the neighbors groups, the communities, activists, and they can try to provide some insight so, of the way that uh, the, the best way that this issue should be resolved so they can develop these community partnerships in a way that this engagement can be organized, not disorganized. Another way is uh, uh, to develop a comprehensive communication strategy and I think that's the very important part of those uh, strategies but because uh, this is not only just uh, open an account in, in in Twitter, open an account in Facebook, open an account, you know, in Pinterest, or open an account in in in, in LinkedIn. Yeah, it's just uh, really have a comprehensive strategy for communicating with the citizen. Uh, how this strategy will allow a really work of the citizen or the government, so they can really. Uh, solve the problems of the community. So they have many ways to reach uh, the, the citizens, uh, not only social media, but also instant messages and, and person to person. So how, how this social media comes into this communication strategy, but at the same time is a whole coordinated, you know, way of, 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 of media uh, that they can government use. Also, they can provide incentive for government employees and citizens, uh, so the uh, citizens uh, really uh, engage in this uh, work with government. Uh, uh, there must be incentive for citizens and employees to to improve this communication, and and also so so maybe certain some government can uh, include some budget. So they can include for, for improving this. There are some city labs and many pla many places, uh, many big, big cities where the cities and the, the government in general are, are trying some new technologies uh, that helps uh, the communities. And, and these uh, are funded by governments and different companies too that can help to improve co uh, communication. Another way to reduce those risks is to provide uh, 
resources and enough uh, success metrics. What, uh, what I need to do is understand clearly what are the goals and how they are going to measure what they are tracking the, uh, the citizens' uh, initiatives, uh, the engagement that they have, uh, and understanding uh, how this, this uh, program is, uh, is going. Is it successful? Is not successful? Where the problems are? Are, are those posting? being really, really accepted by the community or not? What kind of posting are, are the community looking for? Uh, so if we, what we, what we measure, we know. If we don't measure, we don't know. So that's uh, what uh, this, this, this advice is. So uh, when, we, when we talk about the strategies that we can use uh, to, to improve this um, engagement, uh, we can say that that citizens' uh, engagement need to have uh, a strategy. So uh, uh, governments and central or local level uh, need to create a, a specific uh, strategy to allow citizens to work with the, with the government. So this is one part of the engagement creation. Another part is all the legal implication of social media. I'm not going to be so you know, long in those topics, but uh, Legal implication of social media is extremely important when this uh, the process starts because uh, it's not the same that I will, myself as an individual, you know, as a citizen, I say something about somebody else. So the, when the government says something or the government reply to a comment, it's a lot of legal implication. The same things are related with the, with the pictures and all kind of things. So this is another second issue that need to be managed. And the third issue that need to be managed is negativity because uh, the government need to work to manage negativity. Negativity is something that will show up as soon as they open the, any social media because people have a way to express themselves so they will probably do it negatively. So how we create this social media strategy? Uh, the first uh, thing that we need to do is uh, see uh, the segment. Where are the citizens? What kind of citizens uh, we need to reach? How they are? Uh, the, well, what kind of segment we need to reach? Define the goals of this uh, this engagement. Analyze what are the different type of social media landscape that are, are is available to use. Uh, how can develop? They can develop creative tactics associated with the goals. How they can engage and connect with our citizens. And sixth is the testing and testing and testing because most, uh, I was telling you about this, this city labs where the people can test new applications and new ways of, of communication and they need to be tested with the real community. They need to be tested with the people, with the citizens that are going to use them. And now in the end, monitor and uh, evaluate uh, success. So when even when we identify the citizen segment that uh, need to be reached, we need to identify uh, what kind of uh, citizens are and what kind of what kind of uh, tools they are using. Uh, in this uh, study that I'm that I'm showing here, uh, we can see that uh, even though it's not job, they say this the Comscore's study 2017. Even though this uh, Snapchat is a very used uh, social media tool today, uh, they, they realize that in reality uh, it doesn't show up in the, in the first uh, most important tools among 18 and to 34 years old. These people are using Amazon mainly, Gmail and Facebook. And Instagram is 11%. So these are the tools where people are using. So if you want to reach the 18 to 34 years old people, you better, you know, uh, open an account in Facebook and Instagram uh, because you will find uh, these people there. And also, if you can see what uh, platforms are using, we can see that not not all citizens are not equal. <laughs> so we have millennials, we have X and boomer generations. So, and all of these generations has different tastes for the social media. 
for example, millennials like uh, like uh, Facebook, but also they like mostly social media like YouTube, Google, Twitter, Instagram, a high percentage, you know, from 88% Facebook to 34% Instagram. Uh, if we compare them with the boomers, the baby boomers, we see the baby boomers are on Facebook, but basically they are in Facebook. <laughs> they are not in any other of those, you know, they don't like, they don't like Twitter so much and they really don't like much Instagram for sure. Yes, but 7% of baby boomers were using uh, Instagram. So uh, if you want to reach citizens that are in this age, you should clearly use Facebook. So every every platform is different when you want to reach a, a different kind of citizen. So when you know the segment of the citizens, uh, where they are, who they are, you probably can define clearly the goals of this engagement. You can see uh, why you want to to do this as engagement, uh, what uh, do you want to accomplish with this engagement, and at the end, how you will achieve this engagement. So we ha you have to have a, a clear you know, plan, a clear plan to achieve those goals, you know, to achieve those engagement goals, and at the end, the mission, at uh, the end of mission of the engagement. So when you have uh, your goal clearly defined, Fine, you can go to develop these creative tactics to achieve those goal. For example, I'm here showing you uh, an action plan for Twitter. So you see here that uh, if you want to increase followers, there's some details you need to consider, like ensure consistency in content across all platforms. What you metric per percentage of pay competition. If you want to follow users back uh, and produce and post interactive content. The metric is per percentage of engagement, impression, feedback, for example. Uh, if you want to identify new and relevant people to follow, you utilize existing resources to create engagement content, uh, including blog articles, etc. What is your metric? The time you want to use, the means you want to use. Tweet, retweet, and, and so Every one of the goals we have here requires a, ta a tactic, a way, in a, in a way that you will have to achieve this goal using the social media. Yeah? So you have to plan in advance. Another important issue that we were showing is analyze the social media landscape. When you analyze the social media landscape, you will see that not all media, social media networks are the, are the same. Some are used, I, I wish so, young people like Snapchat, older people like Facebook. If you want to build an actionable audience, you need to understand how you can use any of those uh, social networks to achieve your goal. Now, the, the time that it requires and, uh, and the audience ownership level, for example. Yes, this is one example of analyzing those platforms. So you need to know the platform and you need to know what you want to do with it and where they perform better and how they can improve this. I understand that uh, platforms are, some platforms are better for some ages. 45 people over, you know, uh, will use mostly Facebook as you see there. So, uh, but young people, if you ask and you have, you know, if you are under 25, you probably have an account in Instagram. But if you ask the people over 45, they will probably tell you they don't have an Instagram account. Because, you know, all, all platform has their niche. So you need to compare. You need to understand how those, you can compare also how long the every one of those messages uh, on those uh, on those uh, social networks will last? We have Pinterest where most messages you know are posting are four months, but Twitter eighteen minutes. So, what do you want? What your message is? What is your tactic? What do you want to achieve? Is this is going to depend the time of the type of platform they're going to use? 
And um, when you have decided and compared the platform, uh, you have to establish the goals for each platform because you have to outline the tactics that you are going to use to reach the goal for every one of the platforms you are using. Uh, any, uh, here I have uh, some differences in uh, comparing these uh, six platforms. One are social sites uh, about discovering, that is Pinterest, and LinkedIn is business oriented. And meanwhile, you know, Instagram is social sharing about pictures. So, what is your goal? What do you want to engage people through through those platforms? What do you want to do with those platforms in order to achieve your initial goal? And then, you know, manage to, to define the tactics uh, in every one of those platforms. Because uh, you don't need to use all of them, but you can use all in order to achieve at the end your goal. But uh, this goal needs to be achieved using uh, some or all of them. So here is a, an important issue about uh, the tactics uh, that uh, has been studied when, 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 is, when trying to reach engagement, we can say that today most of the posting are, are should try to be 70% engagement, 20% useful, and 10% promotional. Uh, what I, what I'm meaning for this? When, when, when posting for engagement, uh, first think uh, who is target, who, who, who you are targeting for this content, uh, and, and try to, to, sh to share content that uh, will uh, produce more likes, you know, that will be shared for, for the people, comment for the people. And, and they, uh, they have been studying that short videos uh, allow you this, picture of people, picture of animals, picture of children, emotional response. That's uh, the kind of engagement messages that will allow you this engagement. But also 20% useful. Uh, in this case, that we, we were seeing that uh, government were posting and in the city of, of Mexico, uh, those are, uh, those uh, those uh, reports for, for schools to, to, to fill so they could they could uh, let the government know if they were ready, uh, they have the level of security that will allow them to open or not. So this 20% useful means things people will want to return or remember on tips and tricks on, on how to do something that uh, useful issues for the community. But uh, in order to engage them, you have to you know, not be so much into this because people want to be part of the social world too. So, 20%. And they say, ten, only 10% 10 promotional. What are you, you know, what is this community? Is it the central government, the local government, the city, you know, the, the local government? The, uh, who are you? Uh, what are the kind of advertisements, uh, advertisement you want to show them? Uh, what kind of conversation or what kind of events or what kind of uh, calls to action you are requesting? So, this is a rule that has been that has been used uh, for improving engagement in communities. So uh, the the issue is uh, when when engagement is the goal, uh, you have to listen, you have to respond, and then deliver. These three issues are together: listening, responding, and delivering. As when you have the objective. Uh, uh, you have to have a, a way to respond to, to the comments that are coming to the to the community. So, uh, how you are going to engage to the people? You have to listen to them. You have to respond to what are they requesting, and you have to deliver ways so the people feel they are part of this community. People are are integrated in the in the whole in the whole government, city, uh, municipality. Uh, or central government. So uh, this is an important rule: listen, respond, and deliver. Another important issue is uh, uh, the monitoring. You know how you can monitor and engage and connect. Be uh, engaged uh, on social issues that are, are related with what people are looking for. Uh, how to respond to people so they can they can uh, connect to the issues that people are in this moment suffering or living 
I I posted here something related with the um, with the health prevention for for earthquake in Mexico. So the government uh, retweet this these issues associated with uh, health prevention with uh, with the problem that we're suffering in this at this time. Why? Because they were connecting with the people, joining a co a, a conversation. They say. You need to wash your hands. Uh, if you don't have water, use this. Understand? So, this is a, a way to connect, to engage the people in the in the issues that are they are facing at the moment. And um, another uh, advice was to try test and try again. What that means is basically, you try a new idea. You try a new app. A new application, you try a new way or activity that uh, that you are thinking could be useful for, for improving communication. Uh, a post, a content, an app, you know, and then you can you can try to include this in your in your in your social media. I, I posted here two issues around this. First, the San Francisco city. Uh, it is very interesting when you when you, you when you look at the city immediately the, the this website will show you where your which friends were there which of your friends you know so they connect to your own account and see and show you the pictures of your friend in this city so you are really connected to them I think it was a very interesting way to show um, that they are caring about you as a unique person and not the same posting for everybody. So, and this other posting there is from the U.S. Department of State when they are, they were trying to reduce the, the wildlife trafficking and they are organizing uh, in the zoo, in the San Diego Zoo, so an activity. So they, they were uh, trying to engage a citizen to participate in 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 this uh, in this uh, activity for reducing the, this trafficking. So these are way uh, that the, those governments, one city and one U.S. Uh, Department of State, and trying to push the issues so people can engage in their conversation. Some people can be part of this. They are trying many different ways. So try, test, and try again. If this post doesn't have the results that the CDC or the or the, the city of or, or the community, the government, the municipality are looking, they, they can try another thing. And and uh, monitor and evaluate the success. That is uh, an important issue that uh, that need to be considered. Uh, what is working, what is not working, and how you can adjust or modify the tactics. Today, there are so many different application tools available, so people could uh, see how the, the posting, the activity in the social media is working, and so they, they can really know uh, how this, uh, this works. And finally, when, when we see this strategy working, we have to go to, to what I was telling at the beginning, but that we surely talk about it. This is uh, the, what we call keeping it legal. The, the one important issue in, in engagement is to be part of, you know, of, of the, the rules of the community. The, 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 you cannot break any, any rule. Copyright issues are very important because the government needs to have the permission to use any content that is posted in their the sites. Um, they, they have to have a, a policies established to, to, to know what is acceptable in the, the social network. They have to, to, to let people know exactly what they are, what is allowed and what is not. For example, uh, not only the, 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 the security standard, but the policy itself should be very specific. Yeah? Uh, for example, the, the example here is Discriminate, discriminatory or racist comment will be removed. More clear than criticism of the city will not be tolerated. No? So it's a way of, of comment the policy that uh, that they need to they need to be they need to be very clear for the people, very straightforward and specific so people you know follow the rules of the government citizens or whatever government it is at the at the level it's required. Uh, 
another way is uh, the, the profile disclaimer to let people know that um, uh, personal posting, you know, uh, and not, cannot be achieved uh, to the state. Mm -hmm. Photo release policies and other issues. Uh, but many times uh, this uh, government need to let people know in advance when they go to any government activity that social that uh, uh, any pictures should be taken and these pictures should be used for 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 communication and and you know purposes and and showing to the rest of the community. So this is important. The photo release policy. Um, another another issue here is um, that the uh, Community need to have a, a storage of the comments, so they they need to have ways to storage all the comments. Like uh, here is Archive Social. This is one application where they can look at the comments that were removed, so they can really go backward to see what was posted and at what time. So that they can always, you know, for, for legal purposes, know exactly what they were posting and what the people were replying. Uh, the social media policies, employees shall not, what the employees are, are, are able to do and what they are not able to do. So this is uh, the, keeping it legal. And finally, uh, handling negativity is uh, it's also an important issue here. Uh, because as soon as the social media is open, people will, you know, use uh, <laughs> it as a megaphone to say anything about uh, the government. What, uh, what what they don't like about the government, what uh, are the bad thing about the government, and and complain very badly about the, what the government are doing. So one issue here is uh, to have a way to control those those comments and and have um, uh, answers that uh, could those people that are you know using the, the this this um the social media as a way to, to show the negativity or the, the, the personal problems. So here is an example so posted in one uh, government, uh, US government website, and what was the, the answer that they were showing to, to those people and how they, you know, they manage the responses so they, they don't keep, you know, a, a, a spiral out of control of this go in and out uh, with the answer for for those for those comments, so uh, I could talk to you a lot more about the 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 uses specific of any kind of uh, social network, uh, how you can use uh, some advice for using Twitter or advice for using Facebook, but this is basically uh, most of the most of the. Most of the information I would like to share today with you, and and I think um, I will be open to any comment. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Aurora. Can you hear me? Yes, sure. Oh, good. Yeah, I wasn't sure if this part of uh, my my, <laughs> my my recording here will work. Uh, no, I was okay. just uh, figuring out here. Of course, uh, you and me are very interested in the way. Uh, well, people, citizens are empowered by, by yeah. new technologies, and uh, yeah. when uh, when we thought about this uh, uh, speech of yours, we were interested in ways uh, uh, in which gov government could take advantage of that uh, of those possibilities uh, of uh, engaging people, and uh, yeah. it was very uh, enlightening. Your your the difference you make between. Uh, engaging and just having them participate, uh, yes. uh, and uh, and I guess most of the people that are here with us uh, today are here because they they are interested in in how government can benefit from social media uh, as a way of relating to its uh, citizens, so building a dialogue with uh, its customers. Let's say. We shouldn't say customers. It's actually really the, 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 the citizens. Uh, but as you were speaking, I was thinking most of the advice uh, you're giving to governments uh, would also fit very well to companies, right? I mean, most of these ideas could also work pretty, pretty neatly uh, to companies that want to build a dialogue with their customers and understand their customer base better. Is it so? exactly? Yeah. 
Yeah, exactly, because uh, government is using a tool that allows them to reach a huge amount of people at the same time. But these people, you know, are there with a lot of concern about what the government are doing. So they want to help, but at the same time, they want to let the government know what the problems they have. And then they are using the social media not only for engagement to help them, but also to let them know the problems. So government know that this is uh, the two-way communication and it could be very difficult when you don't have the strategy in place. They have to have a clear strategy in order for this for the citizen to really uh, uh, have a clear policy for communication. So they this this uh, they can get out of control so easily. It's, they can spiral out as I saw you with Mexico with this with this change platform. 1.4 million people signing a petition. Yeah, that uh, in just two or three days. That reminds me of Regis Makema uh, in the 1990s uh, when uh, he was advising uh, well, organizations to use information systems in ways that uh, they hadn't been used before. And uh, his main um, let's say warning was use technology to build a dialogue with uh, your customers. I think uh, yeah. that's uh, very important that also yeah. governments uh, do that now. And well, Exactly. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Aurora. Uh, it was great uh, talking to you today, and hopefully we'll have uh, plenty of other questions from the people in the audience. Okay? Okay. Bye. Thank you.